Let's take a moment to talk about scaling. When we talk about scaling, almost always we're thinking about beginners, we're thinking about people that can't move the prescribed load or maybe don't quite have the movement at hand, for example, a bar muscle up or a handstand walk. But if you're not scaling consistently, even if you're three, five, 10 years into CrossFit, I'm here to tell you, you're missing out. Intensity is the independent variable most commonly associated with the rate of return of favorable adaptation. Write that down, let me repeat it. Intensity is the independent variable most commonly associated with the rate of return of favorable adaptation. What that means is intensity is the thing we can ratchet up or down that is more often linked to how fast we get the results we want. The results we want can range from losing body fat, getting stronger, even things like biomarkers like decreasing cholesterol or blood pressure. Intensity is what gets us there. Short form cliff notes, intensity equals results. How do we get intensity? It's by scaling. For example, we can think about scaling load in a workout like Fran. We can go from 95 to 85 to 65. We can think about going from pull-ups to jumping pull-ups to ring rows. But other things we want to consider is preserving the stimulus, so doing the movements, but also thinking about that stimulus in terms of how long should this workout be taking. So for example, we use Fran again. Fran's not a seven minute workout. Fran's not even a five minute workout. Fran should be a burner. We use the term Fran lung synonymously with like anything that makes our lungs feel like oh, they're on fire. But you get there by doing it in three to four minutes. So often we think about Fran with the load. What about, hey, pull-ups are my nemesis. I struggle to do 21 or 15. We could keep the load at 95 or 65 for females and then say, hey, instead of 21 reps of pull-ups, Let's do 15. We're going to do 21 thrusters, 15 pull-ups, 15 thrusters, 12 pull-ups, 9 thrusters, 6 pull-ups, as an example. Point being, whenever you look at that workout, think about what would blow me up? What would a high-level athlete do? What time domain would they be finishing in? And what's going to be my limiting factor? If the load, if we're deadlifting and it's 275 and I'm going to have to do singles, maybe we go lighter. But more often than not, it's how many reps are we doing and... What can we manipulate there to go faster? When we're thinking about scaling, I want you guys to start thinking about bigger picture like that. It's not only about load. It's not only about changing the movements. It's about maintaining the stimulus, the intended stimulus of that workout. And by doing that, again, whether you're a year in, three years in, or five years in, it's actually gonna lead you to be doing more workouts RX in the future, and more importantly, getting fitter. We define fitness as work capacity across broad time, and modal domains. The more we scale, the fitter we get. The fitter we get, the better we're gonna be.